Ah, good of you to come. What? What's going on? What is that you doing? It is almost ready. The teleport gem. Teleport gem? It is made. This, this is the teleport gem. This will deliver you to the world of the sky. Now, Cyndaquil, accept. So this will get us up to the sky. That was made using the powers of psychics. By me, Alakazam, and... Oh. A ghost-type Pokémon. We received help from it. Gone away, it seems. Who could it be? <laughs> it must be bashful. Let it be. Now... I must ask you this one last time. This journey will be fraught with considerable danger. Will you still go? Of course we will. We have to get Rayquaza to destroy that falling star, right? If that will bring peace, I'll gladly give my life for it. That's my wish. Yes, and when that wish comes true, Gardevoir said. You can return to your human world. <sighs> this will be my last adventure with Mudkip. Cynequil, let's get this done. Yeah, let's go. We are counting on you. Mudkip, Cynequil. Is everyone ready? Hold on tight. <gasps> ow, 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 ow. Where are we? Wah! Circle, this is so cool. We're on clouds. Oh, wow. This is unbelievable. Oh, wow. Shinequil, look up there. Whoa. It's beautiful. It's a huge tower of clouds. It's at the top of this tower. That's where Rayquaza is. Cynical. Let's do our best on the climb. This really was the end of my adventure. We were in the sky, walking on clouds, on our way to meet with the legendary Pokémon Rayquaza. The stakes were now higher than ever before. The world really was set to be destroyed by an unthinkable calamity. But the human who turned into a Pokémon wasn't responsible for the calamity. They were the only one who was able to stop it. And that human, that Pokemon, is me. I still can't really believe it, but it's me. What Gardevoir said to me seems so unreal. Why in the world did they reach out to me? Who was I before? What about me told them that I could be the answer that they were searching for? And what's up with my past self erasing my memory like that? It seems a little over the top for just being put to the test. Perhaps I came from a really bad place, and maybe I don't want to remember who I once was. If what Gardevoir said about my character is really true, I could at least be at ease in knowing that I probably wasn't a terrible person. 
like that human in the Legend of Nine Tales. But still, why would I want to forget everything about who I was and where I came from? Supposedly, my personality hasn't changed much, even without my memory. Perhaps I was really sad in the other world. Maybe even scared of who I was and where I came from. Remembering might actually be a painful experience. I wonder what the past me would have wanted me to do. Would they want me to remember again once this mission was over? Would they even want to return to the world of humans? Or is this world of Pokemon the place where I really belong? Mudkip. I don't know how I'm going to be able to tell them. It didn't seem like I had a say in the matter on whether or not I would get to stay here afterwards. I would have to soon leave Mudkip and all of my other friends, Pokemon that I consider family. What would they think of me? What would they think if they knew? How would they take it? I have a pretty good feeling I know how Mudkip would feel, because I feel the exact same way. Heartbroken. It's funny, actually. There's a meteor right above us that's getting closer and closer every second. But all I could think about right now is Mudkip. How sad they'll be when I'm gone. How much I'm going to hurt them by not prepping them beforehand. But we have an important mission ahead of us. The most important mission of our lives. Of everyone's lives. We can't allow ourselves to get distracted. So let's just discuss this when the time comes. For now, we have to keep climbing. I was actually amazed that there were so many other Pokemon up here as well. And it wasn't just typical flying types either. Pokemon that I had never seen or heard of before were all over the place. And they were ruthlessly strong. The strongest I had ever faced. We even came into contact with what's called a monster house. Absol told me that we had experienced it before in the magma cavern, but I was just way too dizzy at the time to even notice it. Apparently, a monster house is a trap that some Pokemon set up in dungeons from time to time. You can never prepare for it, and you never know when it's going to happen until it's too late. You can enter an empty corridor, and all of a sudden, Dozens of Pokemon will just appear out of nowhere. It's almost impossible to escape. So your only options are to either survive the storm or accept defeat. It's terrifying, but we had to overcome every obstacle, no matter the cost. We made it through the monster house, but it was intense. We were cutting things way too close. It may seem kind of foolish, but we decided to scope out the entirety of every single floor we came across throughout our time in the Sky Tower. This was our last chance to gather equipment, come across useful TMs, and gain very much needed experience. It's better to do this now and have a slower time getting up, than to make it to the top only to get knocked back down right away. We were really cutting things down to the wire though, but progress was still being made bit by bit. There was nothing that was going to stop us from reaching the top. We had to meet Rayquaza, and put an end to the meteor that was set to destroy this world. Our world. My world. I won't let anything happen to my world, or my friends. Whatever it takes, I will protect them all. Perhaps this is the courage that Gardevoir was talking about. Even though we're constantly faced with impossible tasks, we always pursue them until we accomplish our goal. Because we refuse to accept any other outcome besides victory. I want peace for this world, and peace for the Pokémon within it. I know I'm not the strongest, or the wisest, and definitely not the bravest. But being timid doesn't mean I'm without a desire to do good in this world. 
there's still courage deep within me. And that's what needs to shine through now more than ever before. That's why I was brought here. So I promise you, Gardevoir, Mudkip, everyone, I won't let you down. I will show all of you just what true courage really is. How in the world is a Kangaskhan statue all the way up here? Well, regardless, this can only mean one thing. The end is near.